Today I determine the, the pivot point of the Murphy bed. We start at the uh, lower cabinets, and uh, based on that, uh, I figure out where the uh, pivot point uh, will be. Uh, the pivot point here is uh, located at the lowest part of the bed. The bed opens up at a 90 degree angle, and I have to make sure that the bottom uh, doesn't touch uh, uh, the walls or the uh, lower cabinets. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, a short video about the uh, pivot point uh, of the bed. You can buy Murphy bed kits, but I decided to go uh, my own way. What I came up with is, is more or less a copy from what I found somewhere on the internet. It's composed of a shoulder bolt, uh, on which uh, two flanges, two bearings, sleeve bearings in fact, officially, are mounted. Uh, and that's where the bed itself is located. Of course a couple of uh, washers and then you use a coupling nut that goes into the wall and those are all epoxy so that's, that's really secure uh, and it finishes uh, probably with a, uh, a washer and a fairly large bowl <laughs> this way. I made a very simple. Okay. Uh, very simple mock-up. Um, yeah, located with bottom and front. Uh, this is more or less uh, the location of the, the top of the uh, lower cabinets, and that's the front of the lower cabinets. And uh, this is uh, in fact uh, the bottom of the bed. It's in fact, the side of the bottom of the bed. Um, and the bed yeah, has to turn, of course, open and close. Uh, so you can see that this stays just shy of the, the bottom, uh, the top of the lower cabinets, uh, as well as the, the back stays far away, hopefully all object at the, at the bed uh, from, the, from the back wall. made this little jig, this is the front and the bottom, so I placed the, the front at the front of the, the cabinets without the, the doors, uh, so you know exactly at this point, use the little drill bit, uh, it's a pivot, uh, so you know exactly that the pivot point will be located at this point if everything's fine. Uh, as this is the vertical part of the bed, it goes up and down. This is the bottom of that bed, or the side, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> you see as it turns, at least it stays shy of the, the bottom, that's fine. Uh, more importantly, uh, it stays uh, well separate from the rear wall as well. So, at least I know that's in upward position and that's in down position. So as this works out, this is flush with the front, make sure. Let's see whether that makes a dent. Oh yeah, it even makes more than a dent. And now I know exactly where that center of that pivot point is located. And then uh, after this I'll start with the bed itself, with the frame of the bed and it's quite complicated as well because I want to incorporate some, some other things as, as well. Um, so, till next time. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks, guys. Doing a good job.